सर्वधर्मस्थापक सर्वधर्मस्वक आचार्याण महाचार्यो रामकृष्णा ये नम ओ एस्टाब्लिशर ऑफ ऑल द फेथ्स द एम्बॉडिमेंट ऑफ ऑल द रिलीजन्स द ग्रेटेस्ट टीचर अमंग ऑल द टीचर्स ओ श्री रामकृष्ण माय सैल्यूटेशंस टू यू श्री रामकृष्ण एट बलराम बोस हाउस इज टीचिंग अस about the unfortunate condition that the householders who get entangled in worldliness how they get trapped themselves and then they are not even eager to come out of that entanglement that is the most unfortunate uh, 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 thing uh, shri ramkrishna says the householders they uh, get trapped like uh, in in the song that uh, shri ramkrishna uh, had sung uh, for the devotees the the passage that mahamaya has created hmm, with that uh, uh, get, getting towards that trap even the brahma and vishnu they are getting trapped under mahamaya's veil under mahamaya's illusion sri ram krishna has said that brahma is bereft of senses brahma gets confused once caught in the spell of mahamaya says vishnu loses consciousness caught under the spell of mahamaya what to talk about men and these men then sri ram krishna in the same song he had earlier given an example which he had quoted in the song also the example of that fish fish goes through that passage into the net gets trapped and doesn't even make any effort to come back come out of that passage come out of the net remains there only and suffers and suffers and suffers same example of the silkworm silkworm creates cocoon by itself surrounded the uh, sur- sur- surrounding itself by that cocoon and coolly gets trapped in that cocoon not realizing that he is going to die there one day maybe one or two fish one or two uh, silkworms they again get out of the passage which mahamaya has created they are the lucky ones so uh, referring to the same uh, example now shri ramkrishna uh, gives another example and not just an example but the way of how to come out of this trap laid down by mahamaya shri ramkrishna gives an example he says man may be likened to the grains now grains when they are pulverized they are powdered ha huh? traditionally uh, these grains were powdered uh, using the mill stones you know those the two flat stones and then there the, the grains were put and then the stones were uh, the top stone it was uh, uh, operated so that the grains came in between the two stones two mill stones and got crushed to powder form now shri ram krishna says men can be likened to the grains now these grains when they get into the millstone they get into the two millstones some grains are sharp enough most of the grains they will they will get crushed like most of the fish they will get trapped most of the coco silk worms they will get uh, they will dive within the cocoon itself but one or two escape and shri ram krishna gin in this example of grains which are getting crushed between the two millstones he says some grains they are sharp enough not to get crushed under the millstones but they are they escape but how they escape shri ram krishna says those who are at the peg those who are at the outskirt of the millstones at the extreme end of the millstones they escape the process of getting destructed they get they escape uh, the process of getting destroyed into the powder form and those are the lucky ones who set themselves free from being crushed under the millstones of the worldliness those are the people and then shri ram krishna gives a solution here how those Uh, the one or two fish or one or two silk worms or one or two grains they escape what is the mechanism of their escape 
in case of grain, they are at the peg. They are at the extreme end of the millstones. They don't come under the crushing influence of the millstones at all. They just get out of it. They escape from the millstones. Likewise, Sri Ramakrishna says, the peg, Lord, love for the Lord is that peg. The moment you seek love for God, the moment you get love for God, you cannot be crushed. You get to that position of being at the extreme end of the millstones and you can escape from getting crushed. Peg of the millstone, that end portion, that is the love of God. The passage which Mahamaya has created, the entrance to that passage is the love of God. The passage through which the fish enters, the same passage fish can come back, but no, once get once a fish gets entrapped, there is no way of coming out or no inclination of coming out. But those who make an effort, they can come out of that passage. They can come out of this uh, uh, Herculean, uh, 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 you know, entanglement in worldliness. They can come out of it by love of God. Love of God is that opening of the passage. Love of God is that peg of the millstones from where the grains can escape the process of destruction. So Sri Ramakrishna says, uh, therefore men should take refuge at the peg. Men should take refuge at the extreme end of the millstones so that they can escape. That is to say, they should take refuge in God. Call on him. Sing his name. Then you will be free. Otherwise, you will be crushed by the king of death. Those millstones, they will just crush you to the powder. So that is what uh, Sri Ramakrishna uh, advises. The way out of getting crushed. Sri Ramakrishna is not, uh, 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 I mean, he, he feels sorry for such people. But he also gives a way out. How we can save ourselves from getting entrapped in that net of Mahamaya. How we can save ourselves as silkworms from getting entrapped in that cocoon. How we can save ourselves from getting crushed under the mill, between the millstones. And the solution Sri Ramakrishna has given is love of God. Remain at the peg. Remain at the entrance itself. Don't get entrapped. Even if you are entrapped, make a way out. Reach God, pray to God, sing the glories of the God and develop devotion and love for those lotus feet. Then there is no destruction for this being at all. And then Sri Ramakrishna uh, sings a song to this effect that Mother, Mother, my boat is sinking here in the ocean of this world. Fiercely the hurricane of delusion rages on every side. On every side there is a hurricane of delusion and that is sinking my boat in this uh, uh, ocean of uh, worldliness. Clumsy is my helmsman, the mind. This mind who is supposed to be the helmsman, he is so clumsy. Hmm? That mind is so clumsy, the helmsman is so clumsy. Stubborn my six oarsmen, the passions and my six passions, the lust, greed, anger, jealousy, hatred, all these six passions, avarice, fear, all these six oarsmen hmm, who are supposed to save me basically, I mean, they, 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 they are drowning me. Stubborn my six oarsmen, the passions, into the pitiless wind, I sailed my boat and now it is sinking. I sailed my boat into the pitiless winds, the merciless winds. The winds of this world, they have no mercy on this boat at all. And under such unfortunate circumstances, I have sailed my boat and now I am sinking. Oh mother, now I am sinking. Split is the rudder of devotion. Tattered is the sail of faith. Into my boat the waters are pouring. Tell me what shall I do? Oh mother, what shall I do now? I have lost my devotion. Hmm? Split 
is the rudder of devotion? My rudder of devotion is all split. It is not giving me any proper direction. And tattered is the sail of faith. Even my faith is tattered now. That sail is tattered. How can I save myself? Oh dear mother. Hmm? Into my boat the waters are pouring. Tell me what shall I do? Now the devotee is praying to the mother. For with my falling eyes, alas, nothing but darkness do I see. Now there is no hope for me. This boat is going to sink. Hmm? The helpsman is clumsy. The stubborn horsemen, the passions, they are also uh, drowned. They, 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 they have decided to drown this boat. So what can I do? Hmm? Here in the waves I will sing, swim. O mother, and cling to the raft of thy name. I have no hopes now left with this boat as such. The helpsman is clumsy. The stubborn oarsmen, they are bent upon drowning me. The passions, the rudder of the faith is all shattered and tattered. And the sail of faith is also tattered. The only hope I have is... I will catch hold of the raft of thy name. And with that, I will cling to that raft of thy name. And here in the waves, I will swim. There is no other way out. Boat is all gone. So it is only the raft of your name, O Mother, that is going to save me, that is going to make me swim on these waves of the worldly waters. That raft is so strong. Your name is so strong. That will pull me through. That will reach me to the shore ultimately. I had faith in the boat, but that faith has gone. I had, I had thought I had devotion, but no, that devotion is also shattered. I thought my mind is strong, but it is clumsy. And to top make the matters worse, these six passions of mine, they are bent upon drowning me in the sea. But, O oh Mother, I have caught hold of the raft of your name. And that raft is going to make me swim through on the waves and make me reach my destination, make me reach the shore, make me pull me out of this grim pull me out of this mess that I have created myself. So that is what uh, the devotee finally uh, gets into. Hmm? Having uh, seen all the worst uh, elements of uh, nature, of the worst part of the worldly life, of all the destruction that the worldly life is going to pose on him. Now the devotee has understood that the only way to secure oneself, the only way to come out of this passage which Mahamaya has created for me to get entrapped, the only way for me to reach that position of being at the peg of the millstones, being at that extreme corner so that I can escape the process of destruction. The so only thing now that is going to save me is the raft of my mother's name. I will cling to it. I will cling to this raft with all my uh, means available and I will swim the waves of this clumsy worldliness. I will get over all the passions. I will get over all the entanglements. I will get over all this miserable trap. I will just succeed repeating the name of my mother, the name of my mother, the name of my mother, oh mother, and cling to the raft of my name, of thy name. Here in the waves I will swim. Here in the waves I will swim. Here in the waves I will swim. Om Namah Shri Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya. Sri Ramakrishnaar Panamastu. Jai Thakur, Jai Ma, Jai Swamiji.